Well, this is new in a lot of ways. It's color, it's from High Read, it's in white, and it's an e-reader. Yes, finally a color device that doesn't have to be an Android supercomputer every step of the way. It's nice to take things back to the roots. This is the Gaze One SC by the Taiwanese company High Read. Its specs are unimpressive at best, 8 gigs internal storage, a quad-core processor, no onboard audio, and a 2000 milliamp battery. But we can't think of it that way. After all, this is an e-reader, first, foremost, and only. So let's dive in and check what they have to offer to the world of color e-readers. So with the glow light off, let's kick it off here. This is a very dark screen, and why that is is because typically e-readers that have color with Kaleido 1, Kaleido 2, Kaleido Plus, whatever you want to call it, they don't look great in the white zone. And that's because the color array filter is actually utilizing colors like greens and browns and blues to make white. So unfortunately, to give it any sort of visibility, you have to turn the glow light on a little bit. Something I want to draw attention to before we proceed is that there is no drop down at the top. That actually takes the load of the settings here. When you click settings, the top drop down comes up from the bottom. It also says cold but there's no way to switch it to warm, so I'm not sure why that even says that. It also goes up in increments of 15 all the way up to 255, so stay aware of that. You have contrast control, which actually does the entire system. You can see the blacks in the backgrounds become very rich or very light. You have volume, although it does not have any onboard speakers. It does have a 3.5 mil headphone jack. You also have rotate screenshot, Wi-Fi on Bluetooth refresh. Refresh is just kicking it into a refresh. And you have more. And because this review, we're only doing three things, PDFs, books, and comics, we have some time to actually look at the back end settings. So we have Wi-Fi, keyboard, language, which you do have a couple languages because this is a Taiwanese company. You do have multiple languages you can choose from, and that will change the keyboard. System-wise, you only get a couple languages, simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese, and English. You have storage, which unfortunately is only 3.9 and really it goes down to 3.7 and even less because you already have 0.29 of content on here but you can expand it with a micro SD card down below the rotate is locked or unlocked you do have volume control again display and reading unfortunately no there are no display settings here that have anything to do with speed modes there's some refresh frequencies every page regal and default but unfortunately there's no way to put it into an a2 a smooth a balanced anything like that because it's not meant to have that it's not meant to do anything north of just reading books it really is an ebook reader as it stands, it doesn't have any other multimedia. You have font size right here, and you have sleep picture settings, which is kind of cool because you can actually select your own image, or you can have normal sleep right there, and you can restore to default if you have changed it. That's basically it for the settings. Otherwise, you have five keys down below. You have store, which only accesses the Taiwanese store. It's very simple. You click on something, and it takes you directly over there pretty quickly. And you do have some English direction, so you have preview, purchase, what format it's in, either PDF or EPUB reflow. But unfortunately, even though it says description and contents, all of the actual meat will be in Taiwanese. So even though there may be some straggler English content on the store, you are isolated to the Taiwanese high read store only so that's a little bit unfortunate you can go over to the library this is where you can add in a library now don't get off your horse just yet this is not overdrive it is not like a Kobo where you can add in all these libraries from around the globe but you can kind of in a way so you have all the ones within the country of Taiwan you can keep spanning down until you hit some other ones you actually have a couple from the USA one from Singapore, and you have one located in Hong Kong as well. And, and St. Lucia, which is kind of strange because, I mean, that's a very small island nation country. Located in the middle of the ocean near all these other island nations like Barbados and Grenada and Trinidad and Tobago, but they don't actually have those countries, just St. Lucia. So that's a little bit strange, but you can actually if I want to add the Santa Clara County, which is in California, the state of California and USA, I can do that and you can add that in. Unfortunately, none of them pertain to us because we only exist in Chicago, Illinois, Vancouver, Hong Kong, China, or 
Japan and none of those were on there in our area. So we're just going to zoom past that because it is honestly hit or miss. Books is where you put all your books on here. We'll say purchase and borrow and favorite and do. And really, that's just a pleasantry because when you sideload books in, doesn't matter if it's a PDF, an EPUB or a comic book or whatever, we just put it under the already assigned folder, which was import, but it really doesn't have any difference as to where you put it. If we go to a book, no, you can't use any other app on this. So if you don't like this reading experience, tough noogies, because there's no other options. You do have some text change augmentations here with font up, font down. You can do alignments. You can do line spacing. You can do margins, vertical margins, horizontal. And you have some fonts here, but they're all in Chinese. So just leave it on default. You do have some ways to change your experience by long pressing. You have highlights. You have notes. You have quotes quotations and search in book honestly it's a one trick pony but that's the purpose and that's the entire draw of this unit is that it is supposed to just be an ebook reader up top you have some reading settings and you have some reminders and page refresh and all that kind of stuff you can change the contrast from here or from the settings it's the exact same thing you do have TTS which you will need headphones or a speaker or earbuds or something because unfortunately there's no onboard speaker but it does have TTS on there reading wise is totally fine but really that's not what you're here to look at we're here to look at color content so this is a one piece manga and it is in color six inches are pretty small for screen sizes you do have to zoom in a little bit to really get a good handle on things and then because it's so customizable you have to go here and you have to change the contrast to add depth so you can see the blacks are now far blacker maybe you don't like the way the text looks you can up the brightness and you can lower the brightness and up the contrast and lower the contrast to really cater it to your own but honestly for books, it's fine, but for PDF and comic books, it's just not that great. Because of the formatting issues, because of the overall speed of it all, you're just going to kind of battle with it in a game of tug of war just to really consume the content you've tried so hard to put on here because there's no stores or a Kindle app or marketplace to really buy anything. So although it looks fine there's all these little things getting in the way like we just said the formatting and speed and such that it kind of just breaks immersion and you end up not caring how good it looks because it's a little bit frustrating to use and that continues on and translates into the pdf experience which unfortunately is no better it looks good again but it's just logistically too small i can't read any of that down below you can pinch and zoom you can do long presses and once you do pinch and zoom it looks quite nice but PDFs and comics are more suited for larger screens because it's just not feasible to think okay I'm gonna read my medical charts on this I'm gonna read my textbooks I just paid three hundred dollars for a digital download on my for my education it's not possible look how small it is it's like a sheet cookie I mean you really do just need something bigger it can do it if you have books in PDF that you just don't want to convert into EPUBs or Mobis or anything like that it does do it so that's totally fine but unfortunately usability wise this should remain an ebook reader only because anything outside of that it doesn't do it very comfortably really the only conceivable app we have on here is my where you can go over here and look at calendar you can click on content whether you want it to be day week or month and you can click on style which has some various changes that you can select like some backdrops little fox in the bottom left corner with a turtle and you just click confirm and it adds a little splash of color to your calendar but again all the processes are just very slow and everything but it's there as a pleasantry something nice this unit does quite well is rotate and it rotates under any circumstances any direction even on the home screen and all of the UI elements conform to your rotate it's quite nice it's not as overactive as an oasis but it actually has a good axis tilt to the point where it's always going to kind of rotate at the precise speed, it's almost a millisecond before you get upset that it's not doing it fast enough. It does it. I kind of like that.
There actually is a secret game on here that we just discovered, to be completely honest. We added some photos into here, and when you click on a photo, it says, Surprise! Click the photo brain game. Let's take a nap together. And you can't not do it, because if you press cancel, they don't let you look at the photo. So you actually have to click on the photo, click start, and then play one of those slider puzzles in order to see the photo. Because if you don't do this, you actually can't look at the photo on the unit. That's right. Doesn't matter what you do, you're always prompted to play the brain game and let take a nap together. If you long press on something, it does nothing. If you say edit photo and you try to edit a photo, it does nothing but just rotate around. If you go cancel and you say select a photo and click on that, you can only delete it, cancel, or set it at the sleeping image at which point you can set it as the sleeping image and then you'll be able to see it. You actually can't view the photos themselves, but let's go and press the button to go to sleep so we can finally take a look at what it looks like. And this is a Pocketbook Viva photo supplied to us, has nothing to do with the gaze, but it's very nice colors, so we'll just look at it really quickly. Kaleido is very nice in that it does display colors well. Doesn't display it good as Gallery 3 doesn't display it as good as Kaleido 3, but it's quite nice in its own regard, and this is currently the industry standard, Kaleido 2. So it really doesn't get any better than this so far. Honestly, this is a breath of fresh air. It really is. Not everything needs to be absolute top level specs. Not every manufacturer has to be the number one in its class. Sometimes it's good to get back to basics and focus on things that readers truly want. Something that fits nice in your hand, that looks beautiful, breaks the mold, and come on, let's just say it, has expandable storage. Everything you would want in a color ebook reader is located within the confines of the High Read Gaze 1SC. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.